you have um, images, for example, of the Great Red Gate at, at uh, Zojoji, and we see an automobile passing passing through. And I look at this juxtaposition of these two prints, it's really striking to me. Uh, one looks like an old print, you know, mm -hmm. there's absolutely looking back. Right. It's very traditional, the right. one on the left, the temple, the snow, the umbrella. You're saying it's looking back because that's what the foreigners wanted. Then we get to the other print and we got the the same cliche, the red temple gate and the snow falling, and we got a lady with an umbrella, and then there's an automobile <laughs> coming through the gate. And that's stunning to see that automobile coming through the gate in this, to me. It's stunning, John, and it's, it's very sneaky. Uh, this print is, is by uh, an artist by the name of Hasui, who was probably the most productive of the Shinhanga artists. If you look at this print closely, uh, on the far left, it tells you when it was uh, printed, February 1936. And it doesn't use the Japanese character for printed, it uses the character for drawn, sha. Uh, so the sketch for this, if you will, was made in February 1936. Wow. Now, there was a record snowfall that year in Tokyo, and I suspect many artists were out and about. But something else was going on Indeed. in Tokyo at that time, too, an attempted coup d'etat. Uh, it could well be that this, this print was sketched virtually at the time that the coup was taking place. Why is a chauffeur-driven automobile emerging from uh, the gate of the temple or going into it. It's not quite clear. Uh, th there's, so there's something ominous about this print oh, th th that goes beyond just seeing modern machinery uh, violating uh, the temple grounds. Mm -hmm. I, I think there's much more going on here and that will lead us uh, eventually to look at a different way when we're thinking about our artist Koizumi.